Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. As you can see, it is nice and bright and sunny today, and everything is looking good. Now I brought my plants back out. So over the weekend, just before Easter, on Saturday, we had a bad storm come through and I was not prepared for it. And it brought us snow. I was prepared for the rain. I was prepared for the temperatures that they said it was gonna be, which was, I think it was supposed to be 43 at night and I think 50, 54 or 59 during the day. And instead, we ended up with snow and freezing temperatures that I was not ready for. And so I had to take all my plants inside. And I have some video clips to show you of that whole experience. Um, and so I'll just show that to you right now. Well, the weather people did not prepare me for this. It is snowing out here. And all of my plants, my tomatoes and everything are getting flooded out and snowed on, which is not good. So I have to try and take this stuff in the house. My other plants over there, my other tomatoes, I didn't even get them covered. I had no idea it was going to snow. And... I had to leave because my son was in a car accident on the highway where we live. It was hardly any visibility and it was a car pile up on the road and he's okay. His car is not okay, but he's okay. And we had to go and get him. And yeah, I was not expecting all of this. So anyways, I'm gonna hurry up and go in and take all of my plants in the house. But it's snowing. And this guy is out here getting snowed on. <laughs> so Sunny and I managed to get all of the tomatoes covered all the way down to the end and the other tomatoes we took inside they're inside now and the sun is trying to come out <laughs> all that all this but you guys as you can see i brought everything back outside and look i've got flowers blooming <laughs> that is so pretty um there's some other flowers blooming on some of these other trays that uh they're under here somewhere i think oh there's somewhere here um i have marigolds that bloomed oh i think they're on the other side up top here but anyways i did suffer some loss i'm grateful that i didn't lose everything but like the goji berries, these were goji berries that I had started. You can see they're all dying, maybe except for one. Um, the, the cold just did them in and it did in a lot of my plants. There's so many of them that are struggling, but in the process I do have an elderberry that popped up. <laughs> But, um, so I did suffer some loss on my tomatoes. I lost some tomato plants. Uh, but for the most part, I'm grateful that it wasn't a complete and total loss. Some of my basils, uh, some of my other herbs and flowers died as a result of that, uh, freezing temps that we had and all that snow so over here 
I was able to finally put the um, covers over these plants and leave I left them covered for a couple of days because we had rain scheduled for both days and I wasn't sure if there was going to be more snow or not so I removed the covers off of these yesterday but everything is good still everything is nice and healthy and growing well so I'm happy about that I'm happy that the snow didn't kill off all of my tomatoes that I had planted here and um, that everything is doing good and so far for the next couple of days we're gonna have good weather nice and sunny even possibly in the 70s but then this weekend um, starting Friday I think we're going to get more rain. So, I'm going to try and be on it. If it's just rain, it's fine. But if it gets cold and we end up with snow again, that's not going to be good. So, I, I don't like that the weather people can't seem to get it right. Can't seem to let us know ahead of time. It seemed like back in the days, they were able to predict it better or something but there was no warning of snow for my area and so I was plenty hot that day <laughs> but anyways also I want to show you guys something else that we're working on right now so as you can see we are currently working on getting these beds on um, up and going for a tomato row we have to build more of the second layer of the beds. Uh, we only had this one. Now we need four more built for these other beds going down there. But I got the weed cloth down. And this is the roots that we dug out of the beds from before look at all this it's like a tangled mess and I'm gonna get these all picked up but we were able to get those out and then over here it's gonna look a whole lot better a whole lot neater and best of all it'll be a better growing environment for my tomatoes and other plants that I plant over here so I'm excited and happy that it's finally happening and I'll show you guys an update on this and keep you informed on what's going on but right now it's time for me to get back to work so I'm gonna be out here working on this part of the garden I cut this hedge back remember and now it's filling in so pretty but it's starting to get a little imposing again. <laughs> but I'm going to be out here working to get all of this pulled up so that I can get these other tomatoes planted and corn planted. So I am excited to be working on this and to get this done. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, take this time out just to show you what this new tool that a friend of mine told me about it's an electric uh, cutter here and I wanted to show you how easy this thing is and you guys I'm not uh, I'm not affiliated with this company they're not paying me or anything like that to talk about their stuff but a friend of mine showed it to me and it was just really cool. And I said, oh, I got to get one because it made it so easy. And so I've been over here just, let me turn it on. Okay. So I just been over here. I just got through turning it on and it does this one like that. So I just been over here cutting up stuff and I'm like, let me get this on video <laughs> and share it with you guys. 
Let's see. Just show you just how easy this is. This weed is big. It's a huge weed. But I've been going through it real easy because of this. Okay, I'm going to show you. You see how thick that branch is? This can barely fit around it. It just cuts real easily through it. Isn't that crazy? I got this on, uh, I think it was Amazon, for like $75. <laughs> and it came with an extra cutter blade and two batteries and a case. So, anyways, I just wanted to take a little bit of time out to show you this. So once again, I had to bring my plants inside because I don't know how much of this you guys can hear. It's windy. We've got gusts up to 60 miles per hour and it's blowing in a storm, another storm, hopefully the last one for now. Um, and this one is going to bring more snow to us. So I had to take my plants in. This time I'm more prepared. Now these ones, I'm gonna try and get them covered tonight, but I'm not sure how well that's gonna work because the wind is so strong right now. But I've been out here working on stuff, you guys. Getting it all finished up. And everything is looking good. I've been working on weeding back here too and getting the, all of the old plants torn out so I can get these beds ready to plant. <laughs> but there's cups everywhere. There's trash everywhere because of this storm that is coming in. So Hopefully, I will get you guys some update video after the storm tomorrow to see if these things survived. Hopefully, they survive. Also, we've been working over here. Look who's sitting right there. <laughs> also, we've been working to get these beds finished along Tomato Row here. So I got most of them filled. Got most of them filled. They're pegged in and married together. <laughs> and so the only one that didn't get finished because I ran out of wood chips is this last bed. I ran out of wood chips though. So I'm gonna have to get some more wood chips. But other than that, everything here is good. So the next time you guys see these beds, it'll probably have some tomato plants in them. <laughs> and I'll have everything all the way finished, water completed and everything. So I look forward to that when I'm finally finished with this. Anyways, you guys, I will see you in the next video after the storm has passed. And as always, God bless.